Hey guys, so today I want to show you how to make henna cones. There's a couple ways to do it, so let's get started. First you'll need cellopaper. I prefer the white one with the swirls, but for the purpose of this video I'll be using the pink roll. Both are good to use and I will link below where I get all my materials. Secondly you will need tape. Scotch tape works just fine and a holder like this comes in handy when rolling a lot of cones. Scissors can be used to cut the cello sheets, but there is another option if you'll be making a lot of henna cones. You can also use this rotary mat and roller which make cutting many sheets super fast, easy, and accurate. Pins are optional, but can create a perfect opening which is very convenient, and the ones I'm using here are 26mm pins. Alright guys, so here I'm cutting a 4x8 inch rectangle. This is the general size that I like to use, but definitely feel free to experiment. Now from the center, you're just going to roll inwards. I like to create the general shape and size of the cone first, and then I usually roll it open and then insert the pin afterwards. This is the easiest way for me. Then you're going to take this tab right here, you're going to hold tightly, and then just adjust it so that it fits nicely around the pin. Then just take the cone and roll inwards until you get right to the edge of the corner there. And then take a piece of tape and then just place it on the edge right there. Then just roll inwards so that you have the tape secure the seam. So now this is the size of cone that I like to use, but there's many sizes that you can make. So just have fun with it. Alright, so now the eyeball method, super simple, just going to roughly see what kind of size you want and then basically you're just going to use your scissors to cut on through. Then just kind of roughly see what size you want and then cut diagonally to make your triangles. Alright, so there you have your triangles that you can now use to make your cones. Now same thing, just roll inwards from the center and you're going to be making a closed cone by just pulling upwards. And take a piece of tape and just secure the seam right there and now you have a closed tip henna cone. Basically all I need to do is take some scissors and cut open the tip when you're ready. Alright, so now what I like to do is take the pin out first and then take your henna, fill it up about halfway, and then just kind of push it down towards the end. Then at this point, I will reinsert the pin like that. And now is the taping time. So what I like to do is first fold over one edge then fold over this edge and I kind of take this extra material and just fold it into itself and then fold it down one by one until you get to the very end like that kind of see that then I take a little bit of tape Holding it down like that. Hold it down like that. Then I take a little bit extra tape and wrap it around. Like that. And for a little extra, you could say, security, you can find that seam right here and tape around it. So there's no leaks. Like that. And then you have your filled henna cone. Then when you're ready, just take out the pin and then you're ready to use it. Otherwise, if you have a closed cone, then you just cut the tip to the desired size and you're ready to go.